Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great, and today I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday about fragrance, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. I know you guys are probably wondering why am I sitting here sipping tea? Well, I'm gonna keep it real with you. So I plan to, well, I drink green tea every morning. I woke up a little late. I have a schedule for the day of videos that I wanna have shot and the time just ran away with me so I didn't get a chance to drink my tea. So I'm like, let me drink my tea out of my cute little teacup set that I got from Home Goods the other day. Do you remember me telling you I went to Home Goods the other day and got my whole life and was so happy because it's been three whole months? Well, this is one of my finds. And it's so cute, $7 too cute so I figured it went with our theme today our theme today we're gonna talk about the 10 most long-lasting high heavy projection sillage longevity fragrances floral fragrances for summer in my collection so I figured we're at a garden tea party because where would you wear florals and a floral scent at a tea party so it just went with everything see look at god so i'm going to put this back here so let's get started my fragrance of the day and one of the most slept on underrated luxury designer fragrances and that is givenchy lin linterdit the name and the photo will be there because i don't i know i'm probably butchering the name guys but this fragrance is so beautiful so slept on i got this on a whim actually no i got this from eva monroe the queen eva monroe here on youtube she talked about this and i happened to be in the store before the lockdown and i picked it up i didn't even smell it came home and was just like whoa this is amazing this is amazing i love this this bottle is so sleek and chic it's just it just reminds like I want to wear her with like a suit, you know, like a black suit and, you know, no camisole underneath, just like a nice fitted black suit. Very. Oh, I love this now. So the florals that we're going to talk about today, they're all very long lasting. And the three floral, the three common floral notes between the all 10 of these are rose, tuberose and jasmine. So let's go over the notes of this fragrance here. So we have orange blossom, jasmine, tuberose, vetiver, and patchouli. So this, like there are different types of florals. There's fruity florals, and then we have our, you know, deeper woody florals. These florals have base notes of patchouli, wood, um, vanilla. So they're more of a warm sweet actually not all of them i do have some fresher ones but this in particular this is definitely a warm sweet sexy floral it can be worn in the day it's actually my scent of the day worn in the day or worn at night this is a very powerful slept on fragrance i love this check this out givenchy lee entered it lee entered it so next we have from one of my favorite niche brands, House of Siage. And this is Benevolence. If you guys ever smelled um, Kill by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, Love Don't Be Shy and Benevolence are like running, neck like they smell very, very similar. This is a little fresher where the Killian is definitely deeper, darker, and sweeter. But this is definitely... If you put both on on your hands, you're gonna it's gonna it's gonna take you a minute to realize which one is which. But then after a while, the orange blossom shines so bright in benevolence. So the notes in benevolence are almond oil, bergamot, orange blossom, jasmine. There goes that jasmine again. Vanilla and sugar. And this I would consider a sweet, warm floral. This she is she is sexy. She can be sexy. She's not 
corset wearing, cleavage bearing, thigh high boot sexy, but she's definitely sexy. Sexy comes in different forms and, you know, different moods, but she's definitely sexy. Very, very, very long lasting. House of Siage, there, I'm going to do a House of Siage haul because I actually have about five bottles right now and I absolutely love that brand. But Benevolence is definitely, she's very vanilla, very vanilla heavy, but she's still a floral fragrance. So Benevolence, House of Siage. So now we have another House of Siage, Cherry Garden. Cherry Garden. Now this is a very kind of sweet floral fragrance another extremely long lasting guys i'm not going to do full reviews because we'll be here all day because i have 10 to get through but i'm just going to give you a little i'm going to give you the notes and give you a little bit of what type of floral they are but just know that every single one in this video is long lasting heavy projection heavy sillage like they definitely most people would probably even wear these in the fall months or late you know summer nights but you can wear your fragrance whenever you want to and definitely cherry garden can be worn in the day so the notes cherry garden almond oil and seed oil rose jasmine see rose jasmine and tuberose those are going to be the stars of the show today rose jasmine heliotrope and musk so it's that the dry down of these is what makes it a heavier heftier fragrance so it's a floral but not necessarily your tea party floral this is definitely your heavy hitting florals cherry garden she's she's a more playful you know i can wear her with like a sundress or even like a balloon sleeve kind of like baby doll style dress in the day and i can take her into night as well so cherry garden house of ci next we have a very affordable brand it's a, an affordable niche brand and the founder and owner of this company this is Comptour Sud Pacifique now I'm gonna if you're into fragrances and I tell you that this founder she's related to Pierre Montal of Montal and Mansara fame then you know that this is a beast mode long-lasting this is musk and roses and this is just a play. It's really, it's fun and playful. I just, this is one that I just throw in my bag because it's so small and it's really affordable. This retails for $42 on the website. Um, and the shipping, I think they share the same warehouse on the East Coast. So the shipping is the same amount of time. You order it you, within like three to four days, it'll be at your door. Um, this is a very fun, playful kind of rose but she lasts. And this is the Eau de Parfum because they do have Eau de Toilettes that I'll talk about one day that do not last at all. I'm not gonna say at all, but they could have been better in my opinion, especially coming from that house family of beast mode, longevity, you know, of the Montals and the Manceras. But the perfume is definitely a good deal. So, the notes here are green apple, e glantine, rose, musk, and vanilla. So yeah, this is a really good one. And it's a niche brand, $42, very affordable, musk and roses. Check this out, Comptour Sud Pacifique. This sophisticated lady right here she's such a lady look at her she just is like so prim and proper love this so this is chanel gabrielle essence now this floral is a very from what i get from she's a she's a very kind of like grown up and sophisticated floral but she still can be fun and flirty if you know what i mean you know and the lasting power on me is amazing actually longer than a lot of the other um, chanel fragrances that i have but this is the essence so i think this one is stronger so the notes in this sophisticated lady is are jasmine ylang ylang orange blossom and tuberose 
And this is so blended really well. Like you, I can't, usually when tuberose is in a fragrance, I can like spot the tuberose right away because the tuberose is so super strong. But in this one, it's, it's a smoother, it's actually a G-R-A-S-E, Grass Grace Tuberose. So there you have it. So Chanel Gabrielle Long Lasting Floral. Now we have the crowd favorite. Miss Delina herself. Now, if you guys don't have Delina, I'm going to need you to stop the video, like it and comment first, then go and order Delina. If you've been hearing about Delina and people raving about Delina and Parfums de Marley, yada, 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 blah, 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 everything that they're saying is true. She is it. She is definitely, definitely it. Fun, sexy, alluring, playful, flirty. She is all the things. Let me read you her notes. So, bergamot, rhubarb, nutmeg, Turkish rose, peony, vanilla, musk, cashmere, vetiver, and incense. Now, I love an incense note. Incense, and I think the nutmeg. She's like, she's, oh, I, girl. She is the bomb. You guys need to get her. She's not that, she's a floral, but she's not going to be your everyday whip. Like, this is definitely a heavy hitting floral. And she smells so good. She's exotic smelling. I can barely even describe her. I just know I love her. She's heavy hitting and you need to get her. Delina Parfums de Marley. Now we have this bad <laughs> mamma jamma. Now, I'm not a fan of the Montal aluminum bottles because, I mean, they just, whatever. I'm just not a fan of the bottles. However, they're aluminum and it's to, help to keep the longevity of your fragrance. Not the longevity on your skin, but the longevity in the packaging. So, you know, the shelf life can be extended. And I completely appreciate that, but I just wish it was a little prettier. But let me tell you about this one right here. This is Rose's Musk. This was my very first Montal, and I will always, always, always repurchase her. She is a lovely, heavy hitting beast mode like i'm only gonna say beast mode in this group two times and this is the first and you're gonna hear it again beast mode for roses musk and then there's another beast mode in this collection now we have like long lasting and beast mode are two different things long lasting is great you get projection and siage beast mode is she's not coming off until you take a shower beast mode is you're always, always, always leaving a scent trail no matter how many hours you have had this on. And Rose's Musk does that for me. And this scent. And there's only three little notes. Rose, Jasmine, the rose and the jasmine, and musk. This is a sexy, heavy hitting, compliment getting. My bae loves this. So... Check this out. Montal Roses Musk. Love this. Gucci Bloom. This is long lasting on me. It's just a fresher, girlier, more casual floral fragrance. And you need those. We don't always have to kill the room and kill everybody around us with our scent trail. Sometimes you just want to be, you know, a little subtle and fresh and casual. And, you know, maybe you're going to the park in the day or, you know, what you can. I would wear her at night. It depends. It depends on what I'm doing at night. But I do love this fragrance. The tuberose is very, very prominent in this fragrance. Now, let me read you the notes. Rangoon, Rangoon Creeper, Tuberose and Jasmine Bud. So again, we have the tuberose and the jasmine. So this is a fresh and clean, casual, unassuming, not, I don't want to say unassuming because the tuberose is really strong, but 
She's a low maintenance, really nice floral. She's like, I'm here, but I'm not killing everybody. But I'm here. Okay. Gucci Blue. This, I had a love-hate relationship with this. First of all, okay, this is Lancome Idol. Now, the scent is amazing. Let me spray her. I can literally smell this all day. It's like a, it's like a, a floral, sweet, it's creamy. This is a great, great fragrance. And I'm so glad I purchased it. However, let me tell you the hate part. And the bottle is beautiful. It is, it is thin and sleek. But seriously, Lancome, a bottle that doesn't stand? But guys, look at this. If the wind blew too hard, it's going to fall. So what I did, I ordered this. Um, this is a acrylic, small acrylic bookcase. No, bookcase. Um, book stand. I ordered it from Amazon. It was less than $10. And this is her. So now I love it even more. Initially, I was just like, and I got the case to go with it. And I thought that I was going to be, I thought I was going to like it, but the case is no bueno. No, no, I don't like the case. It, it holds it nice. It looks like a cell phone case, but it's not cute. I want pretty, I want pretty for vanity, pretty for, you know, I have my fragrances all around my room and I want them to be pretty and displayed. So this is, this actually works really good. Like I said, less than $10. It's, um, an acrylic book stand. You know, if, if you're going to search it on Amazon and it's less than $10. So, now I didn't even read you the notes. Let me read you the notes. So, bergamot, juicy pear. That's what I'm smelling. That fruity, that kind of like fruity, that fruity scent. That's like an undertone. Pink peppercorn, rose and jasmine. Do you see the trend? Rose and jasmine. White musk, vanilla patchouli and cedarwood so even though she has the rose and the jasmine and she's floral and she has fruits oh she has a deep deep base patchouli cedarwood so it gives her some depth she's oh she probably should have been my scent of the day i love this one and now that i have a case that she won't break on my um glass trays i love her even more so now, are you ready, guys? Now we get down to the big daddy, big mama, queen bee. I'm the floral of all the florals. I'm the most beast modi. I'm the most long lasting. All y'all move and get out the way. None other than Langholm Food Bouquet. First of all, can we talk about this bottle? This is all metal. Metal, gold metal. Then there's glass on the back and glass here on the side. The magnetic top. Th Let me spray this. You only need one. Mmm. Just give me a minute. Guys, this, this is my favorite floral fragrance. Definitely my favorite. This is a floral that can be worn all seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. I know you know the seasons, but I just wanted to reiterate them to you just in case you didn't. All four seasons, you can wear her. Now, a lot of people probably would not wear this in the summertime because she is heavy. She is deep. She is, she has oud. Let me read you these notes. Ooh. Saffron, rose, oud, vanilla, and praline accord. So she has that nutty, 
she's rosy, she's ooty, she has vanilla. I mean, seriously, this kind of pricey, but for what it is and how much product you get, I feel like this is a good deal. I mean, am I the only one? This is about, this retails for about $200, I believe. I'm gonna put the price up here just to be sure. But she's not like a super, you know, pricey fragrance, but she lasts all day. Let me tell you a funny story. So Bay and I went out for dinner, came home. I didn't take a shower. You know, we went out in the evening, came home. I changed my clothes, didn't take a shower, went to bed. I woke up in the middle of the night choking, choking, like all, like choking because the scent as I'm sleeping in the bed, like there's certain fragrances that I can wear to bed. This is not, it, actually none of these. You don't wear any of these to bed, but you definitely do not wear her to bed at all. So if I'm wearing her at night, when I come home, I'm taking a shower because she almost killed me in my sleep. But I love her. She's so beautiful, beautiful packaging. Beautiful, beautiful chic packaging, beautiful, beautiful fragrance, long lasting, beast mode, and the value for your money, I think it's a good deal compared to all the fragrances out there because this is this is kind of niche-ish, niche-ish, is that a word? I don't know, but she's a designer fragrance that is not like your average designer fragrance. So, that's it guys for me. Oh, let me get my tea. Let me see if she's still warm. I love a good green tea. So guys, thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for listening to me ramble about tea, yada, yada. But let me tell you, if you don't do anything or get anything from this video, you need to purchase one of these fragrances, if not all. Because for florals, for spring and summer, you can't go wrong. They're long lasting. We all want a fresh, you know, or, or not fresh, but we all want a summer, a spring, summer fragrance that's gonna last long, because usually, they don't because they're mainly citruses, you know, citrusy. But these florals are amazing. They smell great. They're compliment getting, they're beast mode, long lasting, all of the things. So thank you guys for joining me today. Don't forget to don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave it in the comments if you like little cute little trinkly tea things like this. Leave it in the comments if you have any of these fragrances and what's your opinion on them? Leave it in the comments if you think I was just doing way too much with this tea. <laughs> but thank you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out. Peace.